Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I am excited today. I have some new dual sport saddlebags for the Honda CRF 300L. These are from Nelson Rig. These are the Rig Gear Adventure Line dual sport saddlebags. These things are 100% waterproof. Um, these are gonna be very nice because we're gonna go on some big adventures, me and the boys, and with our CRF 300L dual sports, and we need something that's gonna keep everything dry. Uh, we had the dual sports saddlebags, the Trails In version, and they're great. Uh, but if, you, if we want to be out a long time and there's going to be lots of rain, then we're definitely going to want something to keep everything dry. This will hold everything you need. Now these bags are actually specifically designed for dual sport motorcycles, dirt bikes, enduro bikes, things like that that you don't have racks on. But you actually could use these on a motorcycle with racks. But they're very simple to use on a motorcycle without the racks, as I'm going to demonstrate here. This Honda CRF 300L uh, does not have no racks, but they're made to just take them and set them over like this. And then they have adjustable Velcro straps right here. And you just take these straps, and you can adjust these straps to whatever width you want, depending on the width of your bike. Uh, these are made out of some heavy-duty tarpaulin PVC material. They also have heat welded seams to keep these bags 100% waterproof so you're not going to get your stuff wet. Uh, instead of being a sewed material, this is a real heavy duty. And right along here is the heat welded seams. We also have a roll type closure right here with quick release buckles. So we just roll the top like any roll bag. And then we use the quick release buckles to strap it down. They also have a removable back right here, which is to protect the side of your bike. Uh, you can see that it velcros on just like that, and this is a nice padded material. There's one on each side. These bags hold approximately 14 liters. They're actually 17 inches long by 7 inches wide by 9 inches high. They also come with a removable stiffener, and this will make the bags where they hold their shape even when they're empty. If you want these bags not sticking out, you can actually take these removable stiffeners out and you can actually compress these bags completely flat against the motorcycle. So let's go ahead and get with the install, stick these on here, strap them down and see how they look. Now as I was saying earlier, if you have a motorcycle with the racks like this CRF 300L here does have, so they offer these extension straps to extend this wider to fit over a motorcycle with racks and these work real good. Uh, to give you more room if you have a wider bike or if you have racks Then you can just purchase these separately these extension straps and make them fit right on a bike That already has existing racks. Okay, so after we figure out where we want them We go ahead and adjust our velcro straps here to get our width Exactly where we want it inside here. We're going to have a cinch strap and this cinch strap is made to where you can actually strap this over if you just have a fender rail that you can strap it to. If you don't have actually a rack on the back like this bike does. Or you can actually hook it to a rack. It does have a couple metal hooks on the end. But you can hook it into the rack. Or you can take this, hook it over your fender. And the way this is designed, so we take both ends of this. We hook it over each side of the fender. And then we just pull each one of these straps to pull it tight. You could use it on a rack the same way. Uh, we also have a couple... Uh, loop straps here. We run these through. We can tie it over any part of the frame to secure the back part of the bags or wherever you need them. Now as I said you can use these stiffeners or you can leave them out. Uh, I prefer to use them to kind of hold the bags in place. So all we do is open this thing up and these stiffeners are flexible so they're just going to fit right down inside the bag. like so and you can see how that adds the uh, stiffness to the bag kind of holds it out away from the bike if you wanted to keep the thing more flat you could just take them out and press it in okay so then we just take these bags and roll them very simple to do and then we take these quick release buckles snap them down like so on both sides so right here we have an air purge valve and what this does 
it's going to allow you to whether you have stuff in your bag or if it's empty either way you can purge the air out to compress it more so you can loosen this valve compress the bag down tighten that valve back still going to keep you waterproof but going to push most of the air out of the bag any of the excess air that you don't need keep it compressed on your motorcycle okay i also wanted to show you that nelson rig does offer this rig gear heat shield and what this is going to do, you can actually strap this on. It just has one stainless steel strap that goes around. And you can strap this to your motorcycle. And this is going to keep the heat off your bag. And you can locate this anywhere on the muffler. Pretty much any muffler. So it will keep the heat off your bag and keep from melting the bottom of your bag. So, so these are actually a really cool thing to have. Uh, you can pick this up optional. I, did, I forgot to mention that these bags also do have a carrying handle right here on the back. Which is cool because when you take these off, you want to be able to hang on to them and carry them. Right there's a carrying handle to do that with. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our strap here. We can either use this strap or we can use the uh, loop style strap. But uh, we're going to show this one for now and then we'll show this one. But um, we can take this thing, hook it onto our rack. Hook both of them on. And then of course we have a strap on each side. So we're just going to take these two. Pull them tight evenly. And then we want to take our leftover strap right here, run it back through our D-ring on both sides. Okay, next we want to take the end of the strap after we got them tight. And we want to go through our tinch lock up here on the back of the saddlebag. We'll take it like this, and then we'll loop it back through the front. Now we don't want to tighten these up right now until we get everything positioned where we want it, so we'll just leave these loose for right now. But you can see we can pull the tension with these. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so now that we got the back part of the bag tied, we want to go ahead and tie the front part of the bag. And what we got here is this cinch strap. And we want to take this cinch strap out for right now. Just pull it out of this buckle right here. I have my little helper right down here. So I'm going to pull that out of the buckle. Make sure that our strap goes through the D-ring here located on the bottom. And also through this D-ring here on the bottom of the bag. Okay, now we want to run this actually through or around the frame, find a good location as you can. One thing to be aware of is where your exhaust is. I wouldn't want to put it around right here because my exhaust pipe is right here behind it. So you do not want to get this strap any place too close to the exhaust. But I think we can go around on this bike, around back behind here. Okay, so I run it around the lower part of the frame where I'm underneath the exhaust low enough few inches where I'm not going to have to worry about it melting. We'll run it back through our buckle right here. Okay, so now that we got this strap run through both D-rings around the frame right here, the tighter we pull this strap, the more firm it's going to push these bags against the bike, which is what you want. You want to make these things where they're nice and solid and not flopping around while you're riding. Just pretty snug to hold it for right now. Okay, I'm now I'm going to come around to this side and do the same thing to this side uh, before we tighten everything down. Okay, once so we got all four corners of the motorcycle strapped, the bags, uh, I tightened the two bottom ones, the two rear ones. And now we'll just take the excess strap here and we can roll it up now. You could actually take this bike, if this is where you're going to leave it on this bike permanently, uh, only on this motorcycle, then you could take and cut this strap off burn the ends but I'm going to take and roll it up for now just to demonstrate so we want to roll this up and then we put it under its elastic strap right here to hold it in place okay so the last thing we have to do is just tighten up all the rest of these cinch straps here and if you're not going to be running any of the rig packs like a roll bag or the small five liter rig pack then you want to go ahead and Tighten all these up so you want to position them center. Go ahead and pull these evenly, pretty much. 
do the same on both of them. This is going to make it where everything is going to be in here and held nice and secure. And then any, if you have any excess left over, you can stick it under these elastic holders right here. Okay, so the last strap we have is this compression strap and it runs over the top of the bag, down under the bottom, it goes to a D-ring right here, and it's gonna come around the front of the bag, like so, and then it's just gonna snap into this buckle right here, and then we're gonna pull this tight. Now what this strap does, it's gonna allow you to pull this whole bag and it'll compress this bag into the side of the motorcycle, to keep everything nice and solid, secure against the motorcycle. So we pull that tight like so. And this bag is rock solid on here. We take our excess strap here, roll it up, put it under our elastic holder, and there we go. Okay, one cool thing about these is they have the five liter rig pack. These are, this is the Rig Gear Adventure. These are totally waterproof too, roll bag. Very nice, and they are specifically made to fit like on this dual sport saddlebags. Uh, they have the anti-migration loops here on the side to keep your bags from walking once you get them strapped onto here. Let me show you how this goes. It's very simple. So we take these right here. We're going to loosen them up. We set the bag right here on top. We can run it through a couple of these loops on the side. Snap this one in. I'll do the same on the front one. Run it through one of the anti-migration loops here on the side. Run our rear buckle up through. Strap that down. Then all we gotta do is pull them tight. And there you have it. Five liters you can add to your bike, real simple, super easy to take off once you get them on there. Unsnap them, take them off. Totally waterproof, so if 14 liters is not enough, you can add another five. Combined 19 liters per side, which is a combined 38 liters in total if you use two of them. Okay guys, so there you have it, the Rig Gear Hurricane Dual Sport Saddlebags with the five liter rig pack on top, 100% waterproof. If you want to check any of these out, check it out at nelsonrig.com. Anything on Nelson Rig's site, if you put in the code WOODSMAN20 at the checkout, you will get a 20% discount. And any orders over $50, you will get free shipping. You can also check out the link below in the description to Nelson Rig. And I have the code WOODSMAN20 right there. Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. For more adventures, click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you'll be notified of any more videos that I have come out. We have lots more adventures on the way. Catch you on the next one. Right on.